Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to do a fun Sim Lab project. I'd like you to hit Create and New 3D Design. We're going to call this one Trick Shot. I always like to name them first so that way we can find them later as we look for them. Once you name it Trick Shot, we want to make the world larger. Start by clicking on your settings. I'm going to tell you that we're going to go 500 by 500. If you want to make it larger later, go crazy. When you're done, hit close settings. You can zoom out to see it all. I'm going to show you that we got the work plane here in the corner and we're going to start building. We're going to start with a cone. Now I'm going to tell you to use parameters, not handles. Let me show you why. We're going to take that base radius and make it 20. This is your math teacher talking for a moment. That means it's got a diameter of 40. You can even see there's one, two, three, four centimeters or 40 millimeters on every side. Now what's kind of cool about this is we're going to make a cup to catch the trick shot in. So if the base is 20, so instead of 10, 30. Now you're starting to look like a cup, but the height is wrong. Let's take that height and instead make it 60 and press enter. That's a pretty cool cup. Now it's not hollow. Friends, I got you covered. Watch this. We're going to keep the sides like this because remember, simple shapes are better. And we're going to do Control D. We're going to make the second one a hole. We've got the hole selected and we're just going to take away two. Instead of 30, 28. Instead of 20, 18. And then instead of 60, 58. Now it'll sink in, but if we do control up, one, two, and if you want for good luck, three, it'll poke out. You can grab the two and you can do control G to group them. We have all of a sudden got a fun cup that you can drop shots in. I'm gonna move it off to the side. I think it's gonna be fun if we miss for them to roll off the world. I always think that looks cool. And I'm gonna pick a fun color. Now for our trick shot, we're going to have a target. I'm going to make that target out of a simple cylinder. When you bring this out, I'm going to tell you to shift stretch it. And I'm going to say the number we want is 60. We're going to keep fewer sides because that's better to have our geometry more simple. I'm going to tell you to make it five thick. I'm not going to bevel the corners. I am going to pick a different color. And then I want to rotate this. I'm going to say that it has to be 10 degrees. And then I'm going to hit D to drop. And then I also want to rotate it 10 degrees this way. So it's got two rotations. Of course, now we need something to drop on it. I'm going to bring out this guy right here. Easy to line it up. And I'm just going to lift it up in the air. I'm also going to give it a different color. Now I've got three objects with the goal trying to put it in the cup. Friends, let's go to the Sim Lab and give this quick little project a test. Before we can launch it, I do want to lock them in place. So right here, I'm going to make that one static. And I'm going to make this one static so it can't move. And of course, we do want the ball to be able to move. And with nothing else changed, let's hit play and watch it fail. Now it did roll good direction, so my 10 degrees was pretty smart. I'm going to hit reset. They're giving us these nice tips. That's the first time I've seen those. Check this out, though. We can also raise the height it drops from. We can pick a different material. I'm going to make it rubber. I'm going to make this one bouncy rubber. I'm going to take this one over here. And I'm going to make it rubber so it's better for catching. I think I'm going to change the color to black so it looks more like rubber. And... Now we can test it one more time. Not getting there yet. So I'm going to hit pause. Reset. What happens if I make this steel? Will that bounce further? Once again, hit play. Ooh, holy moly. Second bounce. Now we got a question. Am I trying to do it on two bounces or one bounce? I don't know. I think I'm going to say that it's got to be in the cup. First try. So once again, I'm going to reset. I'm going to raise this up a little higher. Now as I zoom out, I can pan and get a little more height. Once again, let's hit play and watch one more time. Ooh, that is getting close. You've got the idea. 
So friends, when you have a winner, I would like you to share it with me. It is so easy. Click up here on share. Of course, you can pick the large, the square, or the phone style, whichever one you're working with. You can aim everything so it lines up. So if I were trying to share this on my phone, I could set it up right there. And then when we back up, we get to catch the entire video. So you can see that you can have it like that. Of course, pick your low quality or high quality, whichever you want. I'm gonna go high quality this time, and I'm gonna hit create video. Notice it does take a couple seconds. I have got mine set to ask where I download it. Yours will likely just save to your downloads, and then you can share that with your social media to show that you were successful. Friends, you can also save images of it. Right now though, I'm gonna back up, and I'm gonna go back to the main screen, and I'm gonna say that I would love to see you be successful with this. Of course, it'd be even cooler if you had a better trick shot, you could show off something that was more complex. I just wanted to get the idea started. When you do have something completed, don't forget you can share it with the world. I always pick a different background color. I'm gonna go with the light blue today. I always shut off the grid and I close the settings. That would be the scene. And then we simply return back here and then you click on the gear, choose the properties, give it a name. Of course, in my properties, it says tutorial is coming soon and other ways you can reach me. Then there would be tags and friends. If you add the tag HLMT 23, I check that tag almost every day. And friends, when I see your cool designs, I will give you a reaction. Finally, click on public. And I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want everybody to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Friends, I do always like to highlight that once you do publish it, if you go to the gallery, of course, the first thing you'll see are the awesome staff picks. Don't forget, if you ever see one of mine, those reactions are always appreciated, and you'll likely find a tutorial in the description. I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to quickly shut off the staff picks and hit this button so I can see more designs at once. Friends, I love to zip in here, check out cool creations, and of course, give a reaction. There are so many awesome designs to check out. Going to give that one an awesome as well. Check out this sweet go-kart down here. Now, this is a remix of the awesome cart by Draker DG. Friends, if you do remix a design, make sure you give the designer credit over here. I'm gonna give this one a keep tinkering. Friends, I'm also gonna click on this awesome cat right here. What a fantastic creation by the bug. I'm gonna give it a wow. Finally, friends, over here is the trick shot. I am happy with my project, but this is kind of boring. Makes me think that tomorrow I'll create a tutorial for making awesome thumbnails. Friends, as I said earlier, those reactions are always appreciated. If you ever want to see more of my designs, you can always just click right on the HL Mod Tech logo. It'll take you to all of my projects sorted by most recent. Of course, friends, whenever you click on one of my projects, there is likely a tutorial. You can also sort by reactions to see the ones that have been reacted to the most. Of course, those are probably pretty epic tutorials. If you're looking for something fun to do, I recommend scrolling down, finding the wicked cool tricycle, or you can also get in on the Keep the Jane Going project. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Also down below, you'll find day one favorites, useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, friends, don't forget in the corner, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.